you guys, Thomas here, and today we will be taking a look at the sky zones. Now it's actually really windy, but this is the best weather we've had, so we're going to be trying to do the review. Um, flight review. Yeah, the flight review. And we're going to try the DVR out too, the DVR. And um, also the 3D, hopefully, if this... So we're going to try the FEA camera, we're going to try the 600 TVL camera, and also the 3D, uh, and see exactly how that all goes. So um, let's get straight into it. Whoa, quality is definitely better. What do you think of that? Yep. Oh, even the quality through this camera is better. It's really, really good. Yeah, yeah. Um, you'll find the field of view is much more natural, isn't it, through that camera? Yeah, I can. Well, I pick this up easily. Okay. Uh, we're not going to bother with the Mobius, are we? Um, no, we're not because this is a test with these guys. Um, is the DVR recording? DVR is recording. Should, you should be able to tell with the top left hand. I'll just click a button for you. Tell me if this works. Is it recording? Yep, we're recording. Okay, so there you go. Thomas has got on-screen display, so he knows what's going on. So we should be good to go. Don't fly too far out, because we've got people out and about here. Okay, so here we are, and Thomas is gonna take off. I've just turned it around so it's facing away from the wind. And let's go. You can even go out towards those trees. The, yeah, the uh, colors are a lot better. They are, aren't they? They're actually a lot more real. Someone walking behind me, so make sure you stay on that side of the park where you are. Okay. So don't come towards us just yet. And my mobile phone's ringing. How cool is that? <laughs> uh, my wife's actually in hospital at the moment. We've just snuck out for a quick fly. Yeah, uh, these goggles are a lot better as far as seeing things. Those twigs that are really hard to see they do become quite visible. The brightness is really good. Um, the saturation and the, uh, I'm running default settings at the moment, but I haven't changed anything. I think the sharpness is set to eight. Um, it's just running pure default. And I noticed straight away, the video wasn't anywhere near as washed out. So if we go around here, hopefully the DVR will be able to pick this up. It is a lot clearer as to where you are. How's your reception? Um, reception's actually still pretty good. Yes, Any breakups at all? A little bit, but it's like it's, nothing that It's bad going to be interesting to see what happens when we do that in 3D. You want to come in for a landing and we'll try uh, the next camera. So that was the FEO camera we just tried out, which is the higher quality 800 TVL camera. So Thomas is coming in for a landing. I'm just going to pop it in here. Just yeah, that's fine. Actually, I can bring it in closer. Be closer. Anywhere there's fine. There you go. Very nice. It is all through. You can actually see all the blades of grass from a fair height, which is pretty good. So. Um, Twigs would be easier to spot. Definitely thumbs up. Thumbs up for sure. Let's go FEO now. No, sorry, not FEO. Um, seven, 600 TVL. Okay, so this time here we are with the CGX250 running um, the 600 TVL camera. And Thomas is going to try and fly with that one. Now, you were talking about the external view camera, the front facing camera. Your thoughts yeah, on it? Yeah, it's really high quality. I can actually read Hero 4 from here. Can you? Okay. Yep. That's good. Um, and he's got my radio control and he should be good to go. Yeah. Let's make it happen. Okay, so recording now. Switching over to the camera. And there we go. How is it? It's nice. Now, how does the 600 TBL compare to the 800 that you're using? Um, you can see it's slightly harder to see like the blades of grass, but other than that, it's like it's still a good camera, isn't it? It's really good. Like I could see the little twigs and stuff around the trees and that. So the goggles themselves, your thoughts, initial thoughts on flying with them. Now you're flying with two different cameras. Um, you're obviously recording, aren't you? Can I just check um, something? Is it record up? Yeah. Oh good, you're recording, good. So um, Thomas can tell through the OSD there. Um, your thoughts on the goggles so far? Uh, the colors are a lot better than most goggles I've seen, especially compared to the old Sky Zones. The colors are really solid. Well, the old Sky Zones um, were fantastic goggles. Yeah, and well the colors, they just seem Real, I guess the only real way to wheel. Okay, we're going to do the 3D test shortly. That'll be the next test we're going to do. So I reckon that's going to be really sick, but I forgot the sick bag for Thomas. Yeah. Um, um, but this thing, it's actually really good. Um, it's definitely an upgrade from the Sky Zones, the originals. The V1s. Yes. Now, don't mistake in the V1s with the V0, sorry, the V2 with the V02. There are different goggles, so um, just keep that in mind. Here, here comes past us. We're kind of past us. Hang on, let me find us. Oh, 
There it is. You can come bring it for Lenny if you like. Okay, so that was the CGX 250 using the 600 TVL. Oh, can I say something funny just quickly? Yep. The static, when you turn it off that, it looks like it's in 3D. It's really weird. Yeah, it's really trippy, isn't it? Um, now, the 3D is going to be really interesting. Can you tell us a little bit about 3D as far as your experience with 3D is? Uh, well, we've got a 3D TV, and I don't like 3D personally. I've tried watching 3D TV. I'll last a good minute before I have to actually take the goggles off. You don't like it, do you? No, and even 3D movies at the pictures you don't like either, do you? The IMAX um, ones? No, there's some that are good, but a lot of them, I don't know what it is, but my brain So this like could be an interesting test having Thomas. Now, Thomas hasn't tried the 3D on these goggles at all, have you? No, we were asked to actually hold off for the video, so well, you are going to see my initial reaction. Jason from FPV Models, the only request he had was he could said you could do the review anytime you want, any way you like, you can be harsh or as nice, whatever. The only requirement he has was he said he'd like to see Thomas's reaction to 3D. So, um... Make it happen? Yeah. <laughs> now, I've got to set up the goggles for you because you won't know how to do that yet. I thought turn this off for now. Uh, you can turn it off. Look at that. Wow, it's a face. Look at that, it's cool. If you line this up with the back ones, it's like... You could add string, and then it'd be like the antennas on the P40. Okay, were you still recording? You stopped recording, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Good. Yeah. You ready to go? Yeah. Yeah, okay, hang on. Let me switch. I'm switching from camera mode to super static -y, waiting for that to turn on. Well, 3D static. Welcome to OpenTM. Got video? Yeah. Battery low voltage. Whoa! Okay, that, hang on. Wait, 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 face towards me and get closer. Okay, here we go. Whoa, that is cool. Now, does it check something? That'll make a difference Thomas to my vision. Is Thomas is adjusting uh, the IPD adjustments. Hey, now I can see really well. Whoa. Oh, dude. Sorry. You're a chat, so just make sure the camera's recording. How is it? Am I recording this? Uh, record now. Now, when you're recording, it's going to be in 2D mode, so this is going to be really interesting. Whoa, that is cool, and I'm not feeling sick. <laughs> oh, look, see the grass. The grass is all popping out and all, whoa. Let's get you back to camera mode. I need uh, it's all on. The radio is ready to go. Now, interestingly, Thomas is telling me that he's not feeling sick, um, but he hasn't flown with them yet. I so, can see the trees. The trees are popping out. It's like so go out in the open and then slowly move into between trees and all that and tell me what it's like. And you're going to have to talk us through all this because I've got no idea what it's like flying, but I have walked around the house with them. That's about all Dude, I've I done with them. see the trees getting closer further away as they wave in the wind. That's cool. Okay. Here we go. Whoa, that is wicked. When you get drop out, do you need to describe what actually happens? You're pretty low there, Tom. Yeah, but I can tell. That stick was sticking out a bit. Whoa, that is weird. That is not normal. Does it look like you're flying 3D? How is it? it it's surreal, I guess is the way to describe it. Because I'm used to TV. I can actually see that tree getting closer. And then slowly disappears too, because the camera's a bit wide angle. If you go... That is wicked. Turn to your right. There's a couple of birds out there. Go up to them slowly. Wait, I can you see them? Yes. How is that? That's weird. I can see them getting closer. Whoa, the bird just disappeared. That is wicked. That is so abnormal. It's like, I don't know. I don't really know how to describe it. It's like a video game, now, but I really have a perspective. What? Now, people trend? have asked me, what do I, what do oh, I think? Whoa. Like, I've got to ask you a question, right? People have asked me, what do I think of 3D? And I said it was gimmicky. Um, I haven't flown with them, so I don't know. What are your thoughts? This is wicked. I'd use this on like a flight sim or something. Like, this is beautiful. Like, I could tell where that tree was. I could see, like, the leaves sticking out. That was weird. Okay, I think that's enough of that. You're having too much fun. I think I won't have a go now. No. I've got to see what this see, is like. Let me finish the battery. Oh, can I mention another thing, too? Yeah. Not even close to feeling sick. Oh, that's nice. I just got to look at that tree. Whoa. I got to look at that leaf. Don't back into the tree while oh, you've gone around it. It's all right. You're okay. 
I'm just inspecting this tree. This is FPV. There's a three-dimensional lens flare. That's cool. Oh, this is not normal. How is the camera handling the light changes? Beautifully. Oh, I thought it was really slow and reacting. I'd say better than normal. Really? Yes. Well, that's got to be interesting because I thought it wouldn't be, and that's what I've told everyone. Was but that close to that tree? Because I like it looked close. You got close, sir. You weren't ridiculously close, but you were close, definitely. I mean, you're probably within about two feet of the tree at one stage. I have no idea how to describe this. Like, there's actually no way to describe this. The way static looks weird. Static so, doesn't look nice. So when you static get static, you're going to get static in one eye, which means you're going to no, drop it your... Both. both? of it? Both that time. Probably because I was behind a tree. Okay. But it was weird because it was like it was going further and closer away. Here he is coming past. You can follow him all the way out there. That is totally weird. That is cool. Oh, we got this tree. Whoa, that's scary. Can you come past us? Yeah, hang on. It's all right. Let me just slow down. Dude, I can see the quad sticking out. Really? Yeah. The quads are sticking out of the ground. So are the box. So are the box. You're pretty low. Dude, that was the best. That was the best. I'm not, I don't know how to describe this. You really have to try it. It is wicked. Because you're the bike rider? Yeah, I saw him, but I'm turning around now. I didn't see anybody in the park. That tree, I'm just like, I'm just keeping this tree just in view. And it's... <sighs> now, the goggles alone are worth it just for this. And I'm not kidding. Like, I now need a quad just for 3D. You're serious? Yes, I'm serious. This is way better than normal. So that means I was wrong. I was all wrong. I didn't have it to go with not, this. It is more than gimmicky. It's all wicked. You gotta try this. There's no way to describe it. It's like, I don't know. I actually don't know how to describe it. It's just, you know it's, you know that you're looking through like two cameras, but it looks, <sighs> It's really funny. I'm just gonna go up to the quad. Don't worry about me. Thomas is doing this uh, spinny thing around this tree. And he's just checking out this nest, checking me out. So, there you go. Wanna put it down? So there we go. That is the best. <laughs> this is little Wally E, as I like to call him, because it looks like Wally, as far as I'm concerned. But anyway, you really liked it, didn't you? Yeah, no nausea either. Uh, can you um, stop the record on that thing? Yes, I can. Press the record button, it says it's got the OSD. Stop recording? Okay. Beautiful. Whoa, okay, hang on. Wait, wait. You know the um the, the ping pong ball on the uh, the cloverleaf? He's talking about this one here? Yeah. It's sticking out. So with the, you know the two connectors? Yeah. I can actually see them closer to each other. That is weird. So that worked? It definitely works. Okay, I'm going to have a go. You can film me. Hi guys, Paul and Thomas here. Hello. And the footage you're actually looking at here is the DVR recording from the three different cameras that we actually tried on the day. And the first camera was Thomas's FEO 800 TVL, it's a CCD camera, uh, TVL camera. That's the one that has a bit of lag. I uh, did a video on that, so keep that in mind. And then we've got the SuperHad 600 TVL, which is probably the camera of choice that I like. Uh, it's cheap and it works well. There's almost zero lag with it. And finally, down the bottom and in the middle, we've got the 3D camera that actually comes with the SkyZone V02s. So um, that's basically the way the footage looks like uh, from all three different cameras. Now, one thing worth mentioning is you've obviously looked at Thomas flying the aircraft and you've seen the 3D footage and his reaction to the 3D flight. And you've also seen uh, the footage the dvr footage that we've got and as you can see both don't match at all do they tom um no the footage that you see when you're actually looking through the goggles in 3d is unusually sharp like more sharp than it should be and the dvr footage is somewhat normal it, well it's like a normal low resolution dvr footage it's, it's actually quite interesting the 3d footage there is no way you can actually describe what it looks like can you well, no, it's really, really awesome. It's like videoing the pain you have in your arm. You, you 
you can't do it. You might see something and say, yeah, that looks pretty bad or whatever, but you can't experience pain on video. And it's the same with this. You can't experience what the eyes are actually seeing. I think I said in the first video that I thought it was actually gimmicky. Um, and I've said that also in the post. My thing that I liked about these goggles was the fact that it had DVR and all the other improvements they've made. But the 3D was really the big um, surprise, wasn't it? Well, yeah, it was really good. They've done a really good job with that. Um, also, another interesting thing too, the colors when you were looking through the goggles and the default settings were really realistic towards the day that we were actually flying. It was actually very vibrant. The images were sharp. This is the 3D we're talking and the 2D. Uh, as in, is that what you're saying? Um, yes, although the 3D footage didn't look the same though, even in colors. No, it didn't. Um, look, I, 3D aside, talking about the 2D, I think that's probably what we should focus on a little bit. It was significantly better than the uh, original Sky Zones, wasn't it? Yes. Well, one of the things I noticed that you could actually see the grass blades clearly. So we're getting that, that degree of sharpness that we didn't have previously in our videos. So um, from a, the perspective of video quality that we we're getting, it was definitely better, wasn't it? Yes. It allowed you to spot little twigs and stuff a lot quicker, giving you the ability to make better flight decisions. And obviously in 3D, it was absolutely mind-blowing, wasn't it? Well, yeah, in 3D. That was the best. I mean, that made going around a tree exciting. I, I don't want to focus too much on the 3D, but I do want to actually mention something. Now, a couple of people asked me, is it going to be tiring on the eyes? Is it going to be hard? How did you find it? Uh, for me, I found it surprisingly good considering that with most uh, 3D TVs and stuff, I generally get sick in like two minutes of watching 3D. Now, after my six-minute flight, I did actually have sore eyes. Um, now, I don't know whether that was related to the actual flight itself or the fact that we've been spending so much time with my wife in hospital and I haven't been getting that much sleep. Uh, for those of you that don't know, my wife actually recently went to hospital. She's okay. Uh, she'll be coming home soon. So... um. Yeah, so mine could have been that reason. I don't know. Now, the other interesting thing was the battery went really fat, flat. Didn't go <laughs> fat at all. <laughs> we'll start again. That no. battery actually went flat very quickly, didn't it? Uh, yeah, it went flat unusually fast. Now, I don't know whether it was the battery wasn't charged properly. I didn't look whether it was charged properly or not. It could have been because we went into 3D mode and we had the DVR running the whole time. So that's something you're going to have to watch out for. Uh, we'll do some more tests with that and confirm that. But having said that, look, that's by no means going to be a deal breaker at all, is it? Um, no. And another weird thing, the goggles actually heat up. They do. This is where the SMA connectors are. They Even the old Sky Zones were getting quite warm. These are getting warmer again. So I'm not sure whether that's normal or not. I've actually asked uh, Jason from FPV Model to chase that up with the company and find out whether that's going to be an issue later on down the track. Um, but irrespective, look... We're going to probably buy another set, aren't we? Um, yes, I definitely want one. Okay, then. And what I'll do now is actually run through some of the um, things that I didn't touch bases on in the previous video. Now, one of the things was the um, uh, in the original Sky Zones, people complained about the actual buttons, as in it was too easy to press those buttons uh, when you were um, using the goggles, when you were picking them up, etc. What they've done now is created a little indentation around the actual frame itself so the buttons are recessed in a little bit and the buttons are about twice as hard or a little bit stiffer to press in to depress than the um, original sky zone so they're a lot less touchy so that's something that i didn't touch on in the previous video that i probably should have so they have actually made an improvement in that area also i guess some of the questions that we were asked about the goggles were uh, is there a video channel for each eye? And the answer is yes. This is for 3D, by the way. The two antennas work separately when you are in 3D mode. So you've got one camera basically receiving one signal and another camera receiving another signal. Now, the interesting thing is when you do actually get static or break up, I expected it to just go absolutely crazy on you when it doesn't, does it? Um, no, it seems to actually block out the static almost and well, you still get clean footage. You get like a, you can sort of vaguely see static coming through, but you've got this crisp, clear image still coming through. And I'm not sure what's happening, whether it's um, sending the video from the good channel to the other one or whether the eyes are playing some sort of illusion uh, on you, but you're, you're essentially getting the benefits of diversity, aren't you? Um, yes. Also, it is But it's not diversity, so keep that in mind too. It's just that when the static does come through or the multi-pathing, it's almost like it's washed out, almost like it's a watermark. Yeah, and when you have both uh, cameras off, which is a funny thing I noticed, the static is like 3D static, which is cool. <laughs> it's kind of strange, but anyway. And the other question we had was, 
what was the actual weight of the camera and also the transmitter, the one that's actually supplied by uh, SkyZone. The answer is the camera weight comes in at 34 grams and the video transmitter comes in at 45 grams. Now that's without cables and obviously without the antennas actually mounted on the transmitter. So another comment we had was about the goggles being nice and they, they a number of people thought they were quite costly. Look, I think they are expensive. Would you agree? Um, yes, you are paying a bit much for them, but they do have some pretty next level technology in them. Uh, so yeah, so they are in improvement. You've got to keep that in mind too. The fact that they've got a DVR, it's basically a whole ground station in one. The only other uh, goggles that seem to offer these that I'm aware of is the Fat Sharks and they're significantly more expensive. So as far as pricing goes, well, I can't do much about that. I don't think they're bad value for money if they come down in price or if there's a cheaper option available. I think everyone would be happy with that. The other question we had was in reference to running an OSD with these goggles. Now, we haven't tried that, but I have a feeling you'd have to feed the OSD video through both of the video transmitters, which would be possible. So you could do that. How that's actually going to come up on display, I don't know, but I think it should actually work. Another question we had was how far apart are the camera lenses? They're 40 millimeters apart. And as far as the video footage looking 3D, well, yes, it does look 3D as, as 3D as 3D is ever going to get, isn't it? Um, yeah, it was pretty awesome. We also had a question in regards to the DVR. Does it actually record audio? The answer is yes, if your video transmitter is transmitting audio also, which the 3D one supplied with this set does, uh, yes, it can record audio. And uh, we did actually record audio even though we actually had the audio muted uh, in this video. Now, another question we had was, was there any lag with the 3D? Um, and there's zero lag, isn't there? Um, no, and if there was lag, it was unnoticeable. Yeah, it, if there is lag, I mean, you're not going to be, no one's going to have reflexes quick enough to actually, for it to be an issue. So um, lag is absolutely negligible, a bajillion times faster than the uh, FEO camera, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's a really good camera. Anyway, look, we'll leave it at that for now, and we will do a follow-up video on these goggles in the not too distant future. Anyway, thanks for taking time to watch this video and we will catch you guys later. See ya.